Before setting the smooth roller scraper, we first need to ensure that the feed rollers are adequately supported. To do this, we can use a jack, which we can simply put underneath the feed rollers and make sure that the weight of the entire feed rollers has been supported evenly across the entire width. The feed rollers are adequately supported whenever the top hinge pin can be moved freely with your hand. Now that the feed rollers have been adequately supported, we can now remove the smooth roller scraper and ensure that the smooth roller and the scraper are adequately cleaned. To remove them, we need to remove our four 16mm support bolts and then our two eccentric adjusters as well. With the scraper removed, we want to make sure that both surfaces of the scraper and the roller have been cleaned so that we can get an accurate setting of the scraper to the roller. To do this, we can use a wire brush, make sure our edge is nice and clean, and whenever the scraper is nice and clean, we can then focus on the roller and make sure that all material and surface rust has been removed so that we can accurately set the roller to the scraper. Now that the smooth roller and scraper have been cleaned, we can remount our scraper to our frame. With the scraper remounted, what we now want to do is set the gap according to the operator's manual between 0.1 and 0.2 of a millimetre. To do this, we use a feeler gauge. With the feeler gauge, we want to be able to insert the feeler gauge at one end and move it smoothly across to the other. To gain better access to use your feeler gauge, what you can do is use the decompression system for the pre-compression. And whenever this is done, it lifts our rear roller up. One thing to note, that the rear roller must be supported as when the machine is switched off, it will automatically close. This can be done by either using a block of wood or a ram stop for the pre-compression rams. So now to set our gap, as I say, 0.1 to 0.2 of a millimeter, we can then use our eccentric adjusters. With our feeler gauge inserted, we can then tighten up our eccentric adjuster until we have a snug fit on our feeler gauge. We can then do the opposite side with the same steps, making sure that we have our nice snug fit. And then make sure that we can move easily across the full width of the roller. With this step completed, we can preliminary tighten, tighten our adjusters and then we can turn our smooth roller over by hand to make sure that we have no contact. If we have no contact and the setting adjustment is as required, what we can then do is refit all our mountain bolts and tighten them up to the required spec using our torque wrench. With the scraper tightened, we can then finally move up our bottom cover plate to make sure we have good contact with the bottom of the scraper and tighten that up and torque down as required in the operator's manual. With this process fully completed, we have now set our smooth roller scraper.